Namaste. Welcome to class. Please find your comfortable seated position, whether it's sitting with your legs crossed, put them out in front, on a block, or in a half lotus or a full lotus pose. Bring your hands gently to rest either face up or face down on your knees, or in a mudra if they're part of your practice. Roll the shoulders up, down and back, dropping the chin slightly, and begin to soften the gaze, taking it down towards the ground, and either keeping your gaze softened here or bring the eyes to a close. Let's just take a moment to arrive here on your mat in class. Focus on your breath, inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Taking slow, steady, deep breaths. And sending the air down to the diaphragm to the belly. Clearing all thoughts from your mind and allowing yourself just to be here and present with yourself, with your body, with your mind. Gently flutter the eyelashes, blink the eyes to open. And we're just going to start warming up in our tabletop position. So placing your hands on your mat in front of you, coming up onto the knees, bringing the knees hips width apart, making sure the hands are under the shoulders, fingertips spread, and rotating the arms so the elbow creases are tucked away facing inwards. Toes can be tucked or flat. We're just going to create some movement here. So taking your bottom back to your heels and then gently coming around making it circle with your entire body. So we're starting to bring movement into lots of joints here, waking them up. So just three circles. And now we're going to go in the opposite direction. So coming forward, really extending. So you're taking yourself over your shoulders. So you'll feel this in your wrists. But be really gentle with yourself. Okay, now bringing yourself back to your tabletop, checking your knees, checking your elbow creases. We're going to take a cat and cow here. So initially inhaling, driving the belly button down, the chest comes forward, chin away from the chest, look up. Exhale, rounding your spine, really pushing yourself away from the mat, gaze comes down, chin to chest. Inhale, coming forward again, really push the chest forward. And exhale, rounding. Then coming back to the centre. Taking your gaze in front, begin to lift your left leg. If it just comes to here, that is fine, stay where you're comfortable. If you can come up to parallel with the mat, come up to parallel with the mat, but keep the hip really square. Now, take your focus into your leg and into your core. Keep the gaze ahead and really engage every muscle in the leg, imagining that someone is pulling your leg back away from you. So a really strong feel here. And now gently bring it down. Now raising the right leg. So again, if here is good for you, stay here. If you want to come up, you can come up. But again, really square the hip. Don't allow it to open. Foot can be flat or pointed. Now engage the leg, engage the core. Again, imagine someone's pulling your leg. 
Don't let them pull you over. Really strong. Really extended. Really engaged. And gently lowering it back down, coming back to your tabletop. Now inhaling, taking the left leg back again. Flatten the foot, square the hip. Again, you can be low here, that's no problem. Now take the left leg out to the side and you're gently going to place the foot down. The foot is going to be in line with the right knee. And your gaze is ahead. Take an inhale, take the gaze forward and raising yourself up. Really reaching through the shoulders, so extend through the joints. Legs are nice and strong and supporting you. Now taking your right hand down outside of the right knee. You can have cupcake fingers or you can bring the palm down and come to your spider grip. Right toes can be tucked or they can be flat. So okay, take the gaze up to your left thumb. And now see if you can just lift the left leg. Again, you can just lift here or you can lift higher. So reaching the top hand up, feeling light. And gently lowering it back down. Coming back up to the center. And now taking the left hand gently onto the left leg. You don't want to be applying any pressure, so you can just flip the palm up. Reach the right arm up as high as you can, lengthening between the hip and the shoulder. And gently, just folding here. The left hand may slide further down the leg. Keep the gaze in front or take it up. And gently sliding yourself back up to the centre and then taking the hands down back towards your tabletop position so make sure the shoulder is over the wrist and again tuck these elbow creases away rotating the arm. Looking ahead you're going to lift your left leg up to the side and then sweeping it back and coming back to your tabletop position. Check the knees are hips width. We'll take a cat and cow here. So inhale, chest coming forward, driving the belly down. Exhale, really rounding, pushing yourself away from the mat, chin to chest. Inhale, coming back to centre and now raising your right leg up. Sweeping it back, flatten your foot, don't allow the hips to open, keep them nice and square. Bring your right leg to the side and gently placing it down having your toes in line with your left knee. So hands on the mat, inhale, bring yourself upright. Really reach through the shoulders, take the gaze up, fingers wide, everything engaged and strong. Now take the left hand down outside of the left knee, roughly a foot away. You can, you can be on your cupcake fingers or you can take the hand down flat. Reaching the right arm up, take the gaze to the thumb. Really reaching, feel nice and light here. And if you want to, if you're ready, you can raise the right leg. Keep everything strong, everything engaged. And gently releasing down, coming back up to the center. And now gently take the right hand over to the right leg. Palm can be up or down. If it's up, you really won't be applying any pressure to the leg and that's what we want, no pressure. Reach up through the left arm and then slowly start to come across. Keep the gaze ahead. We'll take it up to the top arm. Don't allow the left shoulder to creep forward. Think about keeping the chest nice and open all the time. Inhale, coming back up to centre, reaching your arms up 
and then placing them down in your tabletop position, checking the alignment of your elbows, wrists under the shoulder, and then sweeping the right leg up, taking it back and placing it down. Take another cut and cow here. Inhale, chest coming forward. Exhale, rounding. Taking your gaze back to the front, coming nicely into your tabletop, you're going to tuck your toes and we're going to push up into our first downward facing dog. You might find that this is the perfect position for you or you might wish to take your hands a step forward, see how you feel. So engage the core, lift the knees, lift the hips, dropping the head down low, starting to bring the heels down towards the mat. If they're not reaching, that's fine. Walk your feet up and down, paddling the feet. So bringing the heels up and down. Bend the knees, bring them to the chest, bounce here. And then resting in your downward facing dog position. However you're feeling comfortable. Remember, you can keep bend knees all the time. So inhale, take your gaze ahead. We're going to step our left foot up to the top. So you can do this in one step, you can do it in three, you can do it in five. So you can raise your leg up first, come into a three-legged dog if you'd like to. And then bending your knee, bringing it to your chest, and then sweeping it down between the palms. Dropping your back knee, coming to your low lunge position. Take your gaze in front, chin away from the chest, and slowly bring the arms to the side, palms facing the ceiling. Inhale, reaching your torso up. If you're feeling comfortable and you'd like to challenge yourself, you can lift your back knee coming to your high lunge position. Or you can stay in your low lunge. Wherever you are, we're going to come to our cactus arms. So bringing the arms to the side like a cactus, which will squeeze your scapula together. Your chest is going to lift, your gaze is going to lift. Inhale, bring them back to the top, reaching forward. Try and avoid putting your chest on your leg and keep the hips low. Reach the fingertips forward, extending through the shoulder and then sweeping the hands down, stepping the left leg back and coming towards your high plank position. You can lower your knees straight away or you can stay up in your high plank. We're just going to take a breath here. If you're in your low plank, just shift your weight forward slightly, waking up the wrists, the shoulders a little further. From here, everybody's going to gently drop their knees, then bend your elbows, bringing them into the side of the rib cage. lower the chest, lower the chin, elbows come up high, this is Ashtanga Namaskar. Now flatten the feet, take a breath here, and then slide the feet down, bringing the body down to the mat. We're going to come to our sphinx pose. So just lift your gaze up, walk your arms forward, bringing the elbow under the shoulder, forearms flat, fingertips spread wide, arms are parallel. Squeeze your legs together. Feet together, every part of the leg together. Really squeeze lots of energy there. And then inhale and bring your gaze up. If you're feeling any discomfort in the lower spine here, bring your gaze back down or walk the arms further apart. Exhale, gently bring yourself back down to the mat. Walk the hands under the shoulders. Separate your feet to hips width. Push your upper body up. Keeping the weight forward. And now lifting the knees and sliding yourself back into your downward facing dog. Inhale. 
Inhale, take your gaze in front. We're going to sweep the right leg forward now. So again, option to take a three-legged dog, extending the right leg up and back, then bending the knee, bringing it to the chest, coming onto the left toe, and stepping through, foot between the palms, doesn't matter how many steps you take to get there. Drop the back knee, coming to your low lunge position. Take the gaze in front, chin away from chest. Bring the arms to the side, palms facing up. Inhale, sweep the upper body up, gaze straight ahead. Option to stay here in low lunge or to come up to your high lunge. Everyone bring your arms to cactus arms, squeezing the scapula, chest goes up a little and taking the gaze up. Really engage the arms here. Fingers engaged, back leg engaged, hips low. Reaching the hands back up and coming forward. So keep the hips exactly where they are. Avoid resting your body on your leg and really extend through fingers, reaching, reaching, and placing the hands down, sweeping the right leg back. Coming to your high plank or your low plank. Low plank, drop your knees, and just shift the weight forward slightly, waking up the shoulders and the wrists. Gaze ahead, not down. Everyone drop your knees, we're coming to Ashtanga Namaskar. Elbows into the side, lowering the chin and the chest to the mat. Take the breath here, hips are high. Flatten the feet, slide the body down. Bringing your gaze ahead, walk your arms, so your forearms are down, elbows under the shoulders, fingertips wide, bring the legs together. Squeezing the feet, the legs, the glutes, the core, everything. Inhale and bring your gaze up into your beautiful sphinx pose. No pressure on the hands. Remember if you feel a pinch here, take your gaze down, widen your arms. Gently lowering back down, bringing the hands under the shoulders. Tucking the toes, but taking the feet hips width. Leaving the knees down. Inhale, pushing up. Coming to your low plank. And then pushing yourself back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, looking to the front, picking the left leg up. Again, option to take a three-legged dog here, or just to start traveling to the top with the left leg. So bringing the knee to the chest and sweeping through, gently placing it down. Dropping the back knee. We're going to go further than 90-90 this time. We're going to come to our horse riding pose rather than our low lunge. So flatten the back toes. Make sure the front knee is not over the front toes. Taking the gaze ahead, use your little cupcake hands here. You can stay here, or you can begin to prepare yourself to raise your torso up without using your hands to push you. So bring your arms to the side, palms to the sky. Inhale, coming up. Gaze ahead, arms strong, reaching again. Exhale, folding, placing the hands down, tuck the back toes, lifting the back knee up, and now we're going to pivot the feet and come to the opposite side. So the right foot is now the front foot, drop the back knee, check the alignment, it might need to go further back, check the front knee's not over the toes, come to your cupcake hands, looking ahead. Bring the hands to the side, palms face up. Inhale, bring your torso up. Gaze ahead. Again, arms really reaching. Exhale, sweep the hands down. Either side of the foot. 
tucking the back toes. Pivot the feet to be parallel facing the front. Walk your hands to the center. Take a micro bend in the knee. Bring the hands to the hips. Come halfway up. Take a breath. Come the whole way up. Inhale, reaching the hands out to the side. Exhale, bringing them to the waist, folding halfway. Pause here. Inhale, look up, really feel about lengthening forward, feel the weight shifting on the toes. Make sure the outside of the feet is firmly grounded. And then releasing the hands down to the mat in line with your feet and releasing the head down. Bending the knees towards the legs. And you can take your stance wider here if you would like to. Really think about pushing the hips up. Think about grounding the outer edges of the feet. Inhale, look forward, bringing the head up, keeping the hands on the mat for the moment. Take a micro bend in the knee. If you walked the feet out, you might want to walk them back in a little bit. Bring the hands to the hips and come all the way up to standing. Pivot your left foot to face the top of the mat and step your right foot to meet your left. We're going to take a gentle tree pose here. So there's lots of options for where you can be when you come to your tree. We're going to start with our hands on our hips and we're going to bring our attention into our left leg. We're going to make it really strong. We're going to think about pulling the kneecap up. We're going to think about all of the thigh being engaged and really lifting up through our spine, making ourselves long. We're going to lift the right leg first. Just find your balance here. Don't worry about going any further. Okay, now just open the leg out towards the side. So I'm opening out the knee and opening out the hip. You can literally just balance here with the sole of your foot to your left ankle and toes on the ground because you're working on opening this out and working on your balance at the same time. If you're comfortable here and this feels good, you can stay here or you can try just to bring the leg a little higher. So between the knee and the ankle, but never on the knee. No part of your foot should be touching the knee. So again, you can stay here. Keep thinking about opening this out. And again, there's a third option today. You can bring the foot above the knee, bringing it to the inner thigh. But again, you want to be thinking about opening this knee out to the side, this hip out to the side. Think about the knees being in one line. So wherever you are, find a spot to focus on. Take your gaze there. And then just lift one hand. And then the other making your tree branches. You can stay here, or you can bring palms together. So just another breath or two here. Bring your palms to your heart, and then release the right leg from wherever it was, gently placing it back on the mat. We're now going to take a tree pose on the opposite side. So engaging the right thigh, lifting the right knee. Just pick up the left leg and just find the balance. When you've found the balance, just open the knee, the hip out to the side. Gently touch the toes to the floor and the sole of the foot to the right ankle. Find your balance here first. And if you'd like to, you can bring the foot further up between the ankle and the knee. Again, keep thinking about opening out to the side, the knees being in one line. If you're comfortable, you can come up again above the knee. Again, still consciously thinking about opening out. Find your focus point, And when you're ready, raise one hand. And the other. Palms together. 
Keep breathing. Palms to the heart. And gently releasing down. Coming to sit in Dandasana, make sure your seat bones are underneath you and bring your legs and your feet together and your toes should be engaged, pulling towards you, making sure the whole legs are engaged. Place the hands lightly on the mat outside of your hips, straighten up through the spine, lifting, and then just tuck your chin, taking the gaze down towards your knees, towards your legs. There should be no pressure on your hands at the side. Inhale, bringing the gaze back up. We're going to take a fold here. So if you have a yoga strap, you can grab your yoga strap if you would like to use that and just bring it around your feet. Again, keep those toes pulling towards you. Inhale, lifting the chest, looking ahead. Now take the gaze down to the big toes without moving your head, just move your gaze. As you exhale, you're going to fold forward. Keep the gaze on the big toes, elbows come out to the side. Really reaching forward, keep the gaze at the big toe. If you don't have a strap or a towel handy, just take your hands to where they reach. So if it's your calves, take them to your calves. If it's your ankles, go there. And if it's your feet, go there. You can either take the peace fingers around the big toe, or you can take interlocked fingers or hands over the top. So find your comfortable position here. Inhale, look up and lengthen again. See if you can get a bit more length in your spine and exhale, folding. Inhale, coming gently back up to your Dandasana. And now turning. Bend the knees. Gently take the hands to the legs or grab the opposite elbow or the opposite forearm. And with control, just gently, gently rocking back onto your mat. You can take a couple of rocks here. And then releasing the arms, release the left leg down to the mat, keep hold of the right leg. You're going to aim to get your knee to your right shoulder. So you're going to come across to the side, interlock fingers on the shin, and pulling it back. Try and keep both shoulders on the mat. Keep the gaze ahead, foot can be flat or toes pointed. Keep the left leg engaged, the left toes pointing. Now releasing the leg, take the left leg, make sure the right leg toes are pulled and engaged. Interlock the fingers onto the shin and pulling that left knee towards the left armpit, the left shoulder. And releasing the leg down, take your right foot, place it onto your left knee, take the right knee with the left hand, right hand out to the side, twist, taking the knee to the left and the gaze to the right, keep the right shoulder planted on the mat. Inhale, coming back to center. Bring your left foot onto your right knee, your left arm out to the side, right hand onto the left knee. Take the gaze to the left, the knees, the legs to the right. Inhale, coming back to center, releasing the leg down, releasing the arms, feet falling away from one another, palms face up, and gently bring your eyes to a close.
可以只有十八次了。Bring your focus back to your breath and your body. Allow your body to sink down to the mat, releasing all tension from your fingers, your toes, your arms, your legs. Breathing easily, feeling relaxed and allowing your body to recover. Slowly begin to curl and uncurl your fingers, bringing movement into your toes and your feet, your ankles, your wrists, your arms, your legs. Gently move the head from side to side, bending the knees. And rolling onto one side, coming to your easy fetus pose. Take a couple of breaths here. And when you're ready, gently bring yourself to your easy seated position on your mat. Bring your palms to your heart. Take a breath. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Gently touch your forehead to your fingertips. Namaste, thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time on the mat.